Hi everybody, welcome back for another monthly stretching video or meditative movement video. Uh, we were going to do some full body exercises this month, but I got into a little car accident this week, so we'll be uh, getting more localized just uh, to accommodate my body. But um, it's a nice reminder that there's always accommodations that can be made and we can always uh, shift our plans. So today we'll be working with the wrists and forearms. If you've got tight hands, wrists and forearms, this will be nice for you. We'll just do a few simple stretches and I'll invite everybody to try to be really mindful of their breathing as we go along. So find a nice posture, maybe sitting up on a couch, chair, wherever's comfy to you. Cushion is fine as well, of course. We'll take a deep breath in and slowly let it out. Let's take a moment to join our bodies, to open up to how we feel today. And we'll start by just lightly rolling the ankles, not the ankles, the wrists, in either direction. You can have your hands in light little fists like this, or you can have your fingers extended out for a little bit of a bigger stretch, wrapping them in, wrapping them out. And we're gonna go ahead and interlace our fingers. I'll do this around the mic. And just roll the wrists forwards and back. Sorry if you hear my little creaky wrists <laughs> popping around, but that's good. Let's just get a little movement. We'll go back and forth, warming up the joints and around in a little circle. Shake them out for a second. All right. Let's grab one hand by the fingers and just stretch over the top like that. Pushing our fingers a little bit back towards our shoulder. Not letting our shoulder come up, but letting it stay down like that as we just apply some pressure. Stretching out these tendons right here. Stretching out the fingers. Not going to the point of pain or anything like that, but just to where you can feel the stretch and holding it there. We'll switch sides, coming over the top of the other arm, making sure our shoulder stays nice and low. We'll stretch this out. Make sure you're breathing in and breathing out. do a stretch called Ikkyondo. Uh, these are Aikido stretches and this is just for your wrist joint first. So we'll kind of start with the wrist and then we'll stretch all three of these joints. But Ikkyo as in Ichi one in um, Japanese. So we'll place our hand like this, fingers down, thumb facing towards me. My other hand just lightly comes right on top of the back of my hand. And while keeping my shoulder and elbow down, I'm just going to gently stretch the wrist like that. So you will feel it right here. Go nice and slow. If you're not feeling it very much, try dropping your elbow a little. And just have a gentle stretch. You can put a little bit of motion in there. And keep breathing as we switch. Again, thumb is facing towards me. Fingers are all down. Place my hand right here. This might be it. You might just put a little bit of pressure and feel that stretch immediately, or you might drop your elbow down, find a little more length in those tendons wrapping over the wrist. Then we'll place our hand straight out, thumb down. And then bring our hand towards us. Can everybody see that? My thumb's facing down. My fingers are facing forward. And this time, my other hand is just going to go right on top. See, the thumb is right on that knife blade of my hand. And I'm going to bring this in towards me. 
just holding and compressing a little and dropping down. This is called Nikkyo, using two joints. Now we're incorporating the elbow a little bit. We're getting a deeper stretch in the forearm. This one will come on a little quick, so just go nice and slow. We'll switch thumb down, right? My palm is facing out. This hand comes right on top, thumb over the knife blade, and I'm just bringing it in towards me, keeping my elbow and shoulder down, stretching out the wrist. Keep breathing. Move into Sankyo. This time, I'll place my hand right in front of me like this. Drop the thumb down. So now my palm is facing out away from my face. My hand comes over, thumb down again. I grab that knife blade and I just push out. So my thumb is pushing right on the back of my hand and I'm twisting out and up. And let's see if I can, yeah, drop that shoulder. And this, you should feel the stretch all the way around. This is called Sankyo, San as in three. So we got the wrist, elbow, and shoulder incorporated now. So we're just pulling out a little bit, gripping lightly. And then we'll switch. So my thumb's down, palm facing out. This one comes right over grabs lightly and just gives a gentle twist to the arm like that. You can see how my arm's twisting right there, stretching out, being mindful of how this feels on our body. Move slowly and compassionately with yourself. And then we'll do Kodagaishi, which doesn't follow the number structure, but this one. We'll start with our hand just right up in the middle, my thumb's facing me. I'm gonna twist it inward. So I'm gonna bring my pinky around towards my nose. So now my thumb's twisted out like this. My other hand just grabs the back of this hand, thumb on the knuckles right there, fingers wrap around the thumb, and then I just bring this straight down my center. You should feel the stretch already right there. Just keeping that pressure on the back of the knuckles. Bring your arm straight down the center. And that should stretch your forearm in the opposite direction. Give you some nice balanced stretching and release. We'll try the other hand. So it's right in my middle, right in my center as if I'm going to bow, right? I bring my pinky towards my face. Thumb goes on the back of the knuckles. And I pull straight down. Holding there, I should get a nice stretch deep in that wrist, balancing out the other stretches. To end, we'll just shake them out. Shake them out nice and fast. Bring them up over your head and shake them. And then just drop them. Let them slowly wiggle to still. Let your hands rest in your lap for a second as you take one more deep breath in and slowly let it out. There's a little wrist mobility and flexibility uh, sequence for you today.